Sunday. I have just been reading all day today and really taking the day to slow my rhythm down, which feels weird because I've been slow <laughs> the last few days, but I think it's truly relaxing in terms of like not making to-do lists or trying not to do like goal setting or administrative things like I've really been off of Instagram today and email as much as possible so that I can do everything in the morning on Monday and I have housework to do but I'm not gonna do it because <laughs> it's a day of rest but I've just been reading and I'm catching up on the invisible life as I punch myself the invisible life of Addie LaRue um, I started this a few months ago and put it down while I was working on all of the holiday bags and orders um, because I've been reading the book not just listening to the audio a lot of times I switch back and forth um, but for this book I really love reading the book um, and I think I'm gonna be doing it the rest of the night because it's got it's already really good but it's gotten really good I'm about halfway through now it looks like yeah to that just like right about halfway through I'll show you my bookmark here in a second but there just like was just now a big like twist in the story and I'm like what <laughs> so I'm gonna just chill out and read my bookmark is this really cool thing on a little string of like velvet or or um I don't know what you call it like leather and it's a little sewing machine and my friend uh, Cheryl gave this to me and on the other end you can see the or a pair of little shears really cool so I love this bookmark it's really special I take the desk dust uh, jacket off to read because I hate fiddling with it but I put it back on when I am done with the book or if I know I'm gonna put it down for a while so yeah, highly recommend it. My link to my Goodreads is down below should you ever want to follow along and see what I'm reading or want to read or have read or whatever. Ooh, as I hit my little desk that I've been reading on. I have this little lap desk that is really cool that I um, can be propped up as you probably have seen. So I've been trying to like keep my back straight. I honestly was up so late last night because I haven't looked at TikTok in a really long time and I made the mistake of opening it up <laughs> right before bed and I was up past midnight. But it was so good. It was so good. I love TikTok, but. And I've knitted, knitted a little bit. I got caught up on my, uh, or I did today's rather, because um, I am caught up. Uh, Pat on, pat on the back, my 24 stripes of Advent socks by The Cozy Knitter. So I did today's stripe and I've knit just a little bit on my shawl, but for the most part, I've just had my fake fire on, which you probably can hear it crackling in the background. I've had candles lit off and on throughout the day. I've had my windows open just a little bit. It's actually quite chilly today. And yeah, I've had countless cups of tea. It's just been a really, truly lovely day.
Whew, what a way to start the morning. My glasses are still fogged up. <laughs> Let me clean those off. Good morning and happy winter solstice and Yule and officially winter. It is a brisk, brisk, cold, lovely, foggy morning. I had a moment where I thought maybe Mr. Darcy was going to come through the fields and come and visit me. But alas, he didn't. <laughs> but I did get all of my woolies on finally. I think this is like the third time this year that I've worn everything. And I wanted to show it off to you before I take it all off because it's already warming up in my place. I have the window open just to get some fresh brisk cool air in but let me set you down and give you a tour <laughs> all right i'm sitting down but y'all are not sitting down yet this is my chevy hat in um yarn <laughs> uh, by barrett wool i made this i think three years ago now it is one of my favorite hats it's super cozy it's 100 percent merino i don't believe it's super wash i'll leave links to my ravelry page uh, project pages with all of the details this is a pattern by andrea maori and i loved it because of the chevron pattern and it reminded me of charlie brown because usually at this time every year over the last i want to say five-ish plus years we've been doing or the Sim san francisco symphony have been doing charlie brown christmas hopefully again in the future they will do it um so there are a lot of really good memories and many of you were with me when i made it during vlogmas and then i will sit you down here this is a cowl that i made um I'm already forgetting the name, so I'll put it down here. I need to have more coffee. I've only had one cup of coffee. It's a super easy, oh, flaunt it cowl. Super easy, bulky weight uh, cowl. I made this out of Hue Loco yarn that I got at, I wanna say Vogue Knitting Live San Francisco a couple of years ago or a year ago. Um, I love it. Um, I thought I had lost it for about half of a year <laughs> and I had put it in my glove compartment for an event and had forgotten about it. So I'm so happy to have it back in my life. And then this beauty um, is a mix and match cardigan by Mina Phillip. I test knit this uh, for her a couple of years ago. I think when I first moved into this place, I still have the ends to be woven in. So I was totally strutting around the neighborhood with my ends. I'll show you what it looks like on right here. This is made out of a Knit Picks alpaca blend tweed. And um, it is the cardigan that I reference sometimes that I need to really block and condition because it's very, it irritates my skin. I'm pretty, se I'm pretty sensitive. I can wear wool, but like, you know, rustic wool can get to me. Um, and it's such a bummer because I love, love this sweater. But you know what? I'm so glad I wore it out this morning because I was determined to wear woolies out this morning, usher in, you know, a new kind of cycle with the winter solstice wearing wool <laughs> and keeping in mind my intention for the new year of really starting to read rediscover discover again discover new uh fibers and new um new sheep types and everything and wool types um i'm really glad i wore it because in the cold it was not it was not itching the cold sorry the battery died had to swap it out so i think this is going to be my walking cardigan i still want to block it and condition it but it made me realize like you know, there's going to be outdoor knitwear and there's going to be indoor knitwear and it doesn't have to be all encompassing, um, which feels like it just opens up my, my possibilities and the things that I can make a little bit more things that I knew logically from watching vlogs and reading about wool and wool types and the history and everything. But until you put it into practice, it doesn't really hit home sometimes. And I don't always get that, 
Um, it's not as evident living in California and in the Bay Area and in a urban environment, at least for me, unless I actively kind of experiment and do stuff. So at least that's, that's where I'm at right now. So anyway, I'm going to take it off because it's really hot. <laughs> Make some more coffee and I will check in with you all in a little bit. afternoon I am having another lovely slow day I am just getting ready to knit on my socks and try not to poke my eyeballs out <laughs> with my needles and do today's stripe and since today is the last vlogging day you guys aren't on the vlog at least gonna see daily uh, each stripe so make sure to stay tuned to instagram uh, stitching the high notes there because i'll be posting as i continue to make progress my hope is to finish these uh, for mom for christmas fingers are crossed and um of course i'll be back um for studio vlogs weekly every Sunday morning um, in the new year. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do it starting on the third or the following week, but yeah, again, stay tuned to Instagram. But yeah, I'm gonna knit a little bit. I'm on the last episode of the Long Way Up with uh, Ewan McGregor and his friend Charlie, and they're doing a motorcycle trip uh, from south america from the very tip to la um and i think this is the third iteration of their travel show together from over the years so i remember it seen like i think the first version way back when i gotta rest my arm um but it's been a while and i really love this newer one plus it's like it was all filmed the last year so it's very interesting to see the world before and how things have really changed so it's fascinating and i think it's right before he announced that he's coming back as obi-wan kenobi for star wars and i am a huge star wars fan so of course and ewan mcgregor fan so i'm just like mm, i love it so much um but goodness i am rambling i am probably high on sugar i <laughs> eating this random hot mess. I got this bowl out of the dishwasher and it was still warm and I put chocolate chips and nuts and coconut stuff in there and raisins and just because I want cookies and holiday treats but honestly I'm not in a baking mood. I, I don't know if you've noticed, you probably have. I've just not been cooking or baking that much the last couple of weeks. I think it's just, you know, run down at the end of the year, I'm honestly processing 2020 pretty hardcore right now. And I'm also, this is the time of year where I really like to start making intentions and goals and um, start thinking of ideas for the new year. So I'm kind of locked and ready to go before the clock ticks midnight or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, a little bit all over the place, sugar high. I had some decaf coffee and now I'm wondering if maybe I, I grabbed a caffeinated pod. Oh, which reminds me I need to open all of the rest of my advent calendar. So I'll do a little montage here of me opening everything up. And I will check in with you all a little bit later. was the night before Christmas I was closing down for business in my little present shop when the bell on the door jingled once more and then time almost came to a stop but somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas song, from this Christmas song. From this Christmas 
thought I'd open these with you all. So we've got, this is Trilogy Yarns and I'm sure I already put up there all the links to my advent calendars or where I got them are down below. And it's been so much fun. It's such a fun tradition having these Christmas countdown calendars and such a and, and to have a variety, not just yarny things. But um, yeah, I have to think of some other cool things to do next year for it too. So we have for day 20 because I'm behind a day. Charlie Brown Christmas. Yay! Let's open this one up. You and me decorating the tree from this Christmas song. Look at that. It's the Christmas tree. So pretty. Look at that pop of darker green. And then here's the tea that came with it. Can't wait to try all of these teas. Day 22, A Christmas Carol. I need to watch that. I really want to watch the Muppet version, which I opened a mini based on that the other day. It is my favorite version of the Christmas Carol, I must say. Look at this beautifulness. Absolutely gorgeous. And it came with a yummy she kisses. By the way, my nails are still doing amazingly. I'm gonna do them again in a couple of days, even though I won't need to. I think they're gonna last a good couple of weeks, a week and a half. Yesterday I did notice like it was starting to catch on my hair a little bit and I just did a little bit ever more filing around the cuticles and it was doing and now it's like great. So I think I bought like a top coat, so I think I might do like a top coat if it's a type of nail that isn't like a matte style. I think that would be really cool to use and that might help like with some of the rougher edges around the cuticle. But anyway. Okay, I got more. <laughs> Miracle on 34th Street. Day 22, so this will be tomorrow's. York Peppermint Patty. And here, oh my gosh, I love this colorway. So cool. Oh, so inventive. This also makes me think of Sully from um, Monsters, Inc. <laughs> love that. I love that colorway. That's a fun one. Okay. Second to last before the big stain. Day 23, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I'm assuming the claymation. Look at this pink. Oh my goodness. It's like candy cane heaven. And it came with this yummy coffee. Awesome. All right, second to last before the last one Last mini scheme, Christmas Vacation. Amazing. Oh, is there anything better than opening mini skeins? Yarn wise, I'm sure there's many things like, you know, <laughs> but oh my goodness, I love this so much. That is beautiful. And then it came with some ukulele. Jasmine scent. Ooh, I can't wait to try this. Awesome. Okay, and now for the grand finale. Let me put this in my basket. The big skein for Christmas. By the way, spoilers. <laughs> After I've opened everything up. But yeah, spoiler alert. But oh my gosh. Can't wait. <gasps> Glamorous holiday movie colorway. Oh my gosh. Nancy, this is beautiful. Look at how pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you. What a generous, generous gift. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I have to think of what to make with this. I feel like this needs to be a cowl or something beautiful. Oh, look at that color. Look at that turquoise color. Yes. What base is this? It's a Superwash Merino Nylon 8020. It feels so soft. Oh my gosh. Love it. Ugh, oh, what a treat. Yarn fumes. And here we are at the end of another Vlogmas. The fifth Vlogmas here on this channel. And it has been so different <laughs> than any previous year. A very bittersweet year and bittersweet December. Very different, and I knew that going into it, but different even more so than I expected. A lot slower, a lot more peaceful, a lot more stressful still <laughs> than I expected for a variety of reasons, just because life and we're all feeling it right now, especially in the last week or so and but at the same time there's just so much to be grateful for and I really really truly believe that and I'm that's partly why I started a gratitude uh, daily posts and I now I'm doing it more so personally um, on my own in my, like my own journal instead of just over on Instagram all the time but I do still do it daily and three things that I'm grateful for each day because it helps you keep the perspective and the joy and to see that there's always hope and something to look forward to no matter what's going on and um, it's foundational and it um, has really helped me remember that change is inevitable but it's a kind of comforting idea to know that it is going to happen and that you can move and flow through it no matter what comes your way i will be honest i've been sitting here for about 20 minutes trying to record this goodbye <laughs> for vlogmas and goodbye to 2020 and i think it's just a sign that i'm still processing the year and i probably will be for some time as we all as will we all it has been a year of very big changes personally and professionally um but i'm really grateful for it i'm really grateful for it and that might hit some folks hard because it has been a horrible year but I'm still really grateful for it because there are some things that have happened that needed to happen for a very long time in terms of a change of pace and rhythm um, and yeah and some things that I still will be learning in the coming year in 2021 can, first of all can we just are we we're in the future we're in 2021 <laughs> I still can't get over that we're in the 2020s, but anyway, that's just me. I'm going to leave it here for today for this Vlogmas. I hope that you are able to celebrate as well as you can and as safely as you can with your friends and family. That you continue to find joy in the small things in life. That you find joy and creativity and the high notes in every stitch that you make and I will see you all in a couple of weeks in the new year I'm very much looking forward to it to a fresh new start and to continuing this journey here on this channel and sharing it with you all to making new things discovering new things and yeah see you all very soon bye Thank you.